Now, there are actually three types of light bulbs that you can do. Um, <clears throat> I've got, uh, I don't know if you can see this, I've got sort of a floor lamp here, and uh, I know that that floor lamp is an LED, meaning light emitting diodes. There is light emitting diodes, those are the newest type of light bulbs. They're uh, great because they're low energy, meaning it doesn't take much energy to power them. However, their principal drawback is how expensive they are. <clears throat> there's also um, fluorescent bulbs, and then there's also what are called incandescent bulbs. And incandescent bulbs are the oldest kind, and they have a little piece of wire in them. And so you can usually see through them. Actually, yeah, well, not always, but um, they're incandescent, and I think they're actually hard to get now, but... Um, but what I want you to do is, I want you to, so you can see I've closed the curtains, I've largely excluded the daylight, and what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to take the spectrum, and I'm not going to show it to you, but of an LED light, which, oh yeah. so I'm actually looking at the light behind it on the wall as it reflects off. If I go, I can't, I'm having a hard time getting straight into it, but, um, Anyway, so what you want to do is you want to take pictures of the light itself and the spectrum that you get from it. And in particular, what I'd love is if you can get a fluorescent spectrum. So a fluorescent light bulb will be not a full rainbow. Um, and uh, you'll know it when you see it. I actually found in my kitchen that our um, chandelier over our kitchen table has fluorescent lights and it looks very different. But you don't have to identify, but well, you'll know when you see it. But um, you do have to take a picture of the kind of light that you're looking at, meaning a picture of the light, and then the spectrum that you get from them. Those will both be part of the report. Uh, and uh, because I can tell just by looking at the light what kind of light it will be.